So I'm Brandon Bohr. I'm an associate professor of civil engineering at Purdue University. So we discovered that gas cooking is a major source of nanocluster aerosol particles. These are very small nanoparticles from one to three nanometers in size. So we know that gas stoves have been linked to increased prevalence of asthma in children and respiratory diseases in adults. But in all studies on gas stoves, they've been missing these very small nanoparticles. And we think they're very important and may be a contributor to some of these adverse health outcomes because of their unique toxicity and their very high rates of deposition in the respiratory system. So every time you turn on your gas stove, you have a nice blue flame, and that's a very efficient source of these very small nanoparticles. Uh, you produce large quantities of these particles, they get into the air, they mix with other things in the air, and then you inhale them. Uh, so every morning when you go to light up your gas stove to make tea or breakfast, you're producing large quantities of these very small nanocluster aerosol particles. So many, in fact, that the emissions are greater than what comes out of a tailpipe of a car with a gasoline or diesel engine. Uh, so we know that many Americans do not use their kitchen hood when they cook on a gas stove. So turning on your hood, very effective strategy to reduce your exposure to these very small nanoparticles. Uh, in the future, we could design kitchen hoods that activate automatically when you start cooking. Uh, we can also come up with new air quality regulations that account for these very small nanocluster aerosol particles. So look at emissions reductions, exposure reductions, through regulations.